because all of us as entrepreneurs, all of us as business owners, mm -hmm. one thing that you have to do to, to make yourself stand out from other businesses is how you treat people, uh, right? Amen. How you treat your clients. Um, you know, we had a conversation today and it, it really kind of went around what makes our organization successful. Mm -hmm. And we said, well, the reason why we're successful is because we offer an experience that they can't get anywhere else, mm -hmm. right? This whole flash mob that we got tomorrow in New York, we got 600 brothers registered. Because they're going to come out for the experience of let me be around black men that like minded just like me that are trying to break down these stereotypes and do all this stuff. We offer that experience. May I ask right? you a question, sir? Uh, go ahead. Please. Yes, sir. Okay, I'm going to flip it on you. Because okay. I know there could be a lot of people that, that are, are, are going to watch this Say it. that are just popping up. They don't know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So how about yourself? How did you how did you get here? How did you guys build this 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 thing? I'm, I'm looking at your mission statement on the wall. And I'm, I'm just like, this is brilliant. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sitting here with all these fly dudes. I haven't gotten dressed up in over a year. This is feels fantastic. Yeah. So so how did this happen for now, you guys? I mean, honestly, from from a black men's work perspective, you know, and, and I think we we've, we've all had those experiences that hit us, and mine's come more so closely related to yours. Mm -hmm. uh, in regards to you know, I was sitting there, and and you know, you you got. Trayvon Martin, you've got uh, Eric Garner, Philando Castile. Philando Castile was really the one that hit me, mm -hmm. right? Well, this brother was sitting in his car, yeah, you doing anything you do. I'm not, even, I'm not even driving the car. You come on my side of the car, give me a license. I'm reaching for my license. I told you, I've, I've disclosed everything. I've undisclosed everything, and I'm, I'm, I'm reaching for what you asked me for, and then boom, my life is taken. But the way, even in that gentleman who had done nothing wrong, there was a spin that they tried to do to make it seem as though yeah. he was a villain, yeah. right? Yeah. That's what hit me. And so when that hit me, my first thought in my mind was like, dang, I can see myself in this because unfortunately for us as black men, we have this trauma that we live with that other people don't even know about. Oh, yeah. Because every time we see one of these instances, we're like, dang, that could have been me. Mm -hmm. right? Easy. And, and so from that perspective, it was how do I help craft a story? Because what happened for him, they attempted to drag this man through the mud. Mm -hmm. And when, I went, when it went through my mind, I was like, damn, if something happens to me, how are they going to drag me through the mud? Like, mm -hmm. What ways are they going to try to bring up yep. stuff from old past? It has nothing to do with where I'm at 20 years later, yep. but how are they going to try to do that? And so then the, 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 the mission came into my, you know, uh, my person, you know, sent to me. God said, like, look, this is your opportunity to touch other people who you can't even reach. But how do you do that? Using social media, understanding how that works, mm -hmm. understanding the analytics and knowing from a marketing background and a marketing brain of, Man, all I'm going to do is inject, inject positivity of my culture into the community. Because yep. if, if another black man sees himself on our, on our platform, and he might not have ever seen another brother in a suit. Mm -hmm. He might not have ever seen another brother with positivity around them. Mm -hmm. right? The aura of positivity and seeing that image might change their whole outlook. Mm -hmm. And so from that, that's how I got started. Like, man, let me just try to do something to put positivity of men like, like me. Let me put that on the platform yep. and keep it going. Yep. And then... The, the the way that it caught on because it was, brother yeah. was like damn about time yeah. like so you know it's, it's yeah. that I've been trying to tell this story but nobody sees my story right and so how do we take our platform and push that story was really so, you know how we got in and we started yeah. Black Men's where from that perspective of mm -hmm. let's just do what we can to inject positivity and then now everything that's come around that mm -hmm. has blossomed because we followed our mission exactly. to come back to that yes, right exactly. the, the way that you balance that time of do I do this? Nah, I I'm close, but I'm I still got my you know I still got my corporate you, gig. You on. I, I got my right I got now. my corporate gig on the side. That's how I put it, right? It is a side. It's job. Not, it's so, it's yeah, done, yeah, I got I got my corporate gig is a side job because yeah. what we're gonna see, what we're gonna experience tomorrow, that's purpose. Yeah, you know right. I mean? That's exactly. impact. Yes, that's what's yes. left when you leave here. That's what's really left. Yes, you yes, yeah. yes. And 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 that impact that's part of it is what drove mm -hmm. the entire the the long hours, the long nights, the you know the making no phone. Cause I'm nervous. I don't know if I can call this person. Yeah. Hey, bro, make that phone call. Yeah. See what's gonna happen out of oh, it. Yeah. If you don't make it, you don't know what happens, right? Mm -hmm. So the, for me, kind of that's 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 how things shifted in my mindset of I gotta do it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Once I understood that mission, once I understood the impact and that value, mm -hmm. I had to. Word up. And if I didn't, then I'd be doing. I wouldn't be doing God's calling on my life. Right. I wouldn't be, you know, helping brothers. That's right. One of the craziest things, and I'm not gonna take too much time because no, 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 one of the, one of the most impactful things about us, and we t and I talked to the crew about this, mm -hmm. bro. The testimonials that we get on site from a flash mob, dude. The dude. testimonials, dude. Are, bro. I wasn't. First of all, I wasn't gonna come, but somebody's like, hey, bro, you should come. Second of all, you don't understand what I'm going through in my life right now, bro. And just being here and having just this these dude. brothers, I don't know none of these guys, dude. but I'm here in this aura. I'm solid. 
Yeah. I can yeah. go back and, and I can get through life because I just I've been around and I've been in you know within yeah. that environment. Oh yeah. Um, and that's that's just something that's really helped to continue to move forward. And, and these flash mobs, you're, you're doing like literally, you're popping up in the town and being like, "Yo, everybody show up." Yes, sir. We and, put it out. People showing up. We deep. put it out. We go Brothers. to the platform. Brothers, mm -hmm. so like I say, tomorrow Yo. we got 600 registers. Yo. Chicago. We what? Got, we got Chicago so. next month. 600. 600. And yeah. Shottown? No, it's gonna be crazy. 600. Hey, 600. No, 600 mm -hmm. in New York. Shottown, we just opened up last week. We already got 120 in yeah. Shottown. Wow, congratulations, bro. And Shottown needs that bad, bro. No, yeah, facts, facts. Very but bad. There's something Beautiful. to be said about when black men get together in man. number. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. That you don't understand until you're in that space and you realize power, how power, much power, you power, 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 power.